The last time I made a list like this, most of the comments were very positive. The few negative comments I received had a common theme. People from the Caribbean felt that it was unfair to compare the GDP of an independent island to the GDP of a Caribbean island that has the backing of another larger country. So this countdown will be a list of the top independent countries in the islands. Engage. Travel is my passion, passion, passion. PassportKings.com Your travel lifestyle will never be the same again. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. I make Passport Kings videos to inform, review, and excite you about travel destinations and other travel related information. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the bell so you can be the first to know when I upload new content. This list is based on island GDP. It's not an opinion piece or a list of islands that I recommend you visit first. This is just the current state of the island's economy. If I mispronounce an island, it happens, and a lot of y'all don't pronounce everything correctly either. I'm all ears if you want to help me get the pronunciations correct, but miss me with the holier than thou attitude because nobody's perfect. The islands chosen are independent, meaning they are not financed by larger countries. Gross domestic product, GDP, is one of the most common indicators used to track the health of a nation's economy. It represents the total dollar value of all goods and services produced over a certain time period. It is often referred to as the size of the economy and it changes rapidly. It's rated by GDP per capita income. So yes, you will find rich people and poor people in each of the islands mentioned. But when the finances of everyone and the financial state of these independent commonwealth economies are considered, this is how it pans out. Number 13, Haiti. Haiti has a GDP per capita of $868. Haiti is still struggling financially because of the Samir climate and deforestation. Hispaniola was broken into two in 1697 when Christopher Columbus, who was Spain's hired invader, relinquished the Haiti side to the French invaders. The climate on the west side made it almost impossible to turn a profit. 1804 came and Hispaniola revolted and won. DR established itself in 1844 from Haiti. But still with the harsh mountainous conditions and sanctions from France, Haiti's economy still has a long way to go. Number 12, Jamaica. Jamaica is already the most well-known island in the Caribbean. Reggae music, which is played on most islands, is many times referred to as Jamaican music. Jamaica became independent from the UK in 1962. The GDP per capita of Jamaican residents is 5,114. Remember that 2.89 million people live in Jamaica. You can find million dollar homes in places like Cherry Gardens. According to Julia Rindelman at PulitzerCenter.org, Jamaica has been called the richest poor nation on earth. It may be because Jamaicans import most of the food they eat, so Jamaican farmers have had a hard time capitalizing on the amount of people who live in Jamaica with the money to spend. As far as the tourism industry goes, again, Jamaica is one of the most popular islands to visit. Even I've made more than one video about the island when I vacationed there, and you can follow the link above. The times I went to beautiful Jamaica, I stayed around Montego Bay, but just as popular vacation spots are Ocho Rios and the Grill. Number 11 is Cuba. The GDP per capita is 6,682 in Cuba. There are 11.48 million people living in Cuba, and throughout 2017 to 2019, it has become a vacation bucket list item for many travelers. With hotels only costing $58 to $175, depending on how many stars you want your hotel stay to be, Cuba was becoming a real tourist attraction for American travelers who had been cut off from the island for decades. As far as I know, you can still visit. So I suggest doing so before the political environment changes again. Number 10 is Dominica. Do not get this island confused with the Dominican Republic. Dominica is famous for hot springs and tropical rainforests and the second largest boiling lake in the world. Dominica has a population of 74 million people and the language is Dominican Creole French. The GDP per capita for the people of Dominica is 6,719. The residents are some of the friendliest people you will ever meet anywhere in the world. Without a large airport, Dominica can be a hassle to get to. But once you get there, you will have the pleasure of being in one of the few places to see Montreal's Pitons, National Park, T2 Gorge, and Cabrits National Park. Non-stop flights are about six hours, but most likely you will have a connection in the Dominican Republic. Tickets could range from $750 to about a stack out of the US. 
Hotels close to the attractions cost about $150 per night on average. Number 9. St. Vincent and the Grenadines has a GDP of 7,359. The last time the population was counted, it was hovering around 110,000 people. They gained their independence from UK in 1979. Tourism to this island is on the rise, and the new Argyle International Airport is about 5 miles from Kingstown. The Pirates of the Caribbean movies were filmed on the island, making some of the spots very popular to tourists. African descendants make up 66% of the population, and everyone speaks English. Round trip flights from the US to St. Vincent and the Grenadines is about 750 bucks and the Beachcombers Hotel will get you the best value with stays at about $125 a night. But if you really want to get treated like royalty, the Young Island Resort at about $327 a night will really take the cake. And tell them Passport King sent you. Now make sure you watch the end of the video so you can download my free book about how to make money in the travel industry and if you haven't yet, press subscribe and ring the bell. Number 8 is the Dominican Republic. The DR has a GDP per capita of 8,341 bucks. Dominican Republic became independent from Haiti in 1844. But the two thirds of the Hispaniola island that made up the DR is not as mountainous. So being able to plant and farm for the last almost 180 years while Haiti was unable to, gave them a very big advantage when it came to nation building. DR has a population of 10.77 million people and many tourists find DR to be a great place to vacation. Number seven is St. Lucia. The GDP per capita in St. Lucia is 10,715. St. Lucia is also called the land of the people. The volcanic island of St. Lucia is more mountainous than most Caribbean islands, with the highest point being Mount Gimme at 3,120 feet tall. St. Lucia is overflowing with luxury resorts and fishing villages. Most people get to enjoy St. Lucia for just a few hours via the cruise port in Castries. If you're looking for an exciting cruise to St. Lucia or any other island on this list, remember to contact me so I can set you up. St. Lucia became independent from the UK in 1979. Now number six is Granada. Granada's GDP per capita is 10,632 bucks. The main island Granada and the surrounding smaller islands called Spice Isle is where most nutmeg comes from. The United States is still one of Granada's largest trading partners. Granada benefits from the US Caribbean Basin Initiative, also called the CBI, which makes it possible for them to have duty-free entry to the United States for many goods. The island can be pronounced Grenada or Granada when Spanish people say it. Airports are located on the Upper Pearls and Bamboo. Granada became independent from the UK in 1974. Number five is Trinidad and Tobago, which is also the southernmost state in the Caribbean. The GDP per capita in Trinidad and Tobago is 16,844, and the large reserves of natural gases and oils keep this country's finances secure. They became independent from the UK in 1962. There is almost one and a half million people living in Trinidad and Tobago. The Trini people are well known for their carnival and if you have never visited during it, you should place that experience at the top of your to-do list. Piaco International Airport is the leading airport in the world for customer satisfaction and efficiency. Trinidad and Tobago has plans for mobilizing funding from the public and private sectors to foster research and development, R&D, in the business sector. And that comes as part of CARICOM, which stands for the Caribbean Single Market and Economy. Number four is Antigua and Barbuda. This country sits right where the Atlantic and the Caribbean meets. They became independent from the UK in 1981. The GDP per capita is 16,864. In Antigua, you can zip through the rainforest on high wires, swim with stingrays, hike, bike, dive, kayak, kite surf, fish, and so much more. Hurricane season is July to November. And although they are rare, it may not be the best time to go. I would suggest going from May to November when it seems the prices are lower. You may get a heavy pour of rain, but like South Florida, it's usually over almost as quickly as it started. The population is very small, topping out at about 100,000 people. The third highest GDP per capita for independent islands in the Caribbean is Barbados, with 17,758 GDP per capita. The last week in July is the Crop Over Festival in Barbados. If you ever wanted to visit an island at the height of a celebration, this would be the time to go. Barbados got its freedom from the UK in 1966, but the crop over is a celebration that dates back even before then. 
However, there is also other popular festivals like Barbados Jazz Festival, Hold Town Festival, Barbados Wine and Rum Festival, Gospel Fest, Holder's Season, and Barbados Music Awards. Barbados exports sugar and molasses, rum, chemicals, and electrical components. There is a total of about 287,000 residents of Barbados. Number two on the list is St. Kitts and Nevis. There are about 53,000 people living in St. Kitts and Nevis. It is the eighth smallest country in the world. So when measuring by per capita, there is a lot to go around. Their GDP per capita is 18,688. Their independence didn't come until 1983. St. Kitts is a golfer's paradise. If you ever climb the fortress at Brimstone Hill, you will be able to see six other islands in the distance. But for a beach that is really what it's cracked up to be, Pennies and Nevis is the best place to be if you don't want to be a starving travel photographer. You will have a very easy time selling those pictures. And number one is the Bahamas. I know I may get backlash for this number one spot because the Bahamas is actually located in the Lucayan Archipelago. But most people who are not sticklers for minor details consider the Bahamas a part of the Caribbean. Most Americans feel that everything under Florida is the Caribbean. The GDP per capita in the Bahamas is a whopping 32,997. The Bahamas also has a population of 400,000 people. The value of money in the Bahamas is about one to one when compared to USD. Cruises to the Bahamas are leaving every day. If you're ready to book your first cruise or your 30th cruise, click the link above so I can get you on that vacation. Getting to the Bohemian Islands after cruising is icing on the cake. Nassau in the Bahamas is one of the most well-known destinations for all American cruise ships. And there you have it, the facts. So if you don't like this list, fine. That's not going to change the truth, but still leave your comments below so I can read them. If you write something super interesting, I'm not above researching it and I may even make a video about your suggestions in the future. Again, GDP is the sum of gross value added by all resident producers in the economy plus any product taxes and minus any subsidies not included in the value of the products. It's also calculated without making deductions for depreciation of fabricated assets or for depletion and degradation of natural resources. Do you have any stories about the times you traveled to the Caribbean? Are you from the Caribbean? If so, which island? Give your hometown a shout out in the comments. I love knowing that I reach all types of people through my videos. Now, as I promised, I wanna send you a free ebook called Make Money Online So You Can Travel More. To get it, go to www.passwordkings.com and all you have to do is just join my mailing list. This was not a competition about which island is the best. All islanders are my peoples, and I hope that I'm yours too. The islands have many rich and excellent places to visit. Visit them like a king of passports. Peace. Peace.